him Jesus of Nazareth Jesus said unto them I am he as soon as he said unto them I am he they went back and fell on the ground Jesus was bold like a lion and Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity and if you claim to be a child of God you have to be bold like a lion and you know what they say about lions Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. In a society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord co um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally, the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here, you'll be able to do it. Somehow compensate for my lack of strength. I can prove it. My goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until I mastered something, and it worked. My counterpunch is the result. Oh. What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so we got, I created this pose because we have... I got this new revelation a few days ago uh, and this is something new that's that I've realized that's happening with me right uh, which already happens with people I believe but remember I'm not special I'm not the special human being that's not at all what I am saying my message is my life changed once I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior once I accepted personal responsibility right uh, and so this new revelation that I got from Father God is this right here. We have been catching bits of wisdom. 
bit of wisdom. But as I've said it before, I had to come up with a, I knew I had discovered something powerful, but I had no idea like how to communicate it to individuals, right? This has transformed my life. It is transforming my life. This is only the tip of the iceberg, people, brothers, sisters, whomever you are, my children. Um, <clears throat> this is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, Cause it's, there's infinite wisdom from Father God out in the world. Everyone carries it, everyone has it within them, but we also have limited beliefs. We've also been conditioned by the world, by society, by our culture. I'm not saying that culture and society is bad. Don't twist my words, Satan. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying is, if we're not aware, this is society, this is culture. For example, I came, I'm Mexican, right? So I, I have the Mexican culture, but I live in America, so we have the American culture. So I grew up, so I was born Mexican, but I grew up in the American culture, right? Uh, but once I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and I learned about, I began to learn about the Word of God, and, and through Dr. Miles Monroe, I started to understand Oh, and that's where I learned we are ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, that's why we have to move differently through the world, right? Uh, like the verse where, where we are not of the world, we are in the world. Now I understand that better too because it's like that's what the matrix is. The matrix is like when you are being manipulated controlled used by by society by your culture by and you're stuck in these cycles of pain and suffering continually because you are not romans 12 2 i believe <clears throat> uh don't be ye conformed to this word, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? I'm teaching you guys how to renew your mind. This is my intention. Uh, this is a skill that I get to coach you guys on. Now, uh, it's a blessing and it's a, it's a gift that I get to share with you all. That I don't have to. I could keep this to myself and keep on trucking, keep on going up the mountain right keep on reaching for the sky but i get to share this with you all now yeah how badass is that huh me is Thank trying to Father make you focus you, on the Thank things for, that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle Thank you for i was sitting here praying this morning and i was asking god in his word gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics, I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?
the sympathy Everybody wants to be Miami Me, me, me Miami Me, me, Like, to be catching puzzle pieces like You're the greatest But once you turn they hate it Oh misery Once you in Miami Spare the sympathy Everybody wants to be Miami Like, to be catching me, puzzle pieces like you, you're the greatest. But once you turn, they hate us. Oh, the person wants to be me. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Yeah, yeah.